welcome to Mary Bridge IV room. Here's going to be an introduction to everything. First thing I want to show you is our line of demarcation it has been manually put in with the orange. So you need to be gowned up completely before you cross the line, right? The other thing is this door is very heavy and it's very aggressive. So when it opens and closes, you need to get out of the way. It is going to keep opening and it's going to keep closing. That's true of all of the doors. First, when you walk in, you have your PPE station. So we can go ahead and get gowned up. You want to get a new French mask. station works so it's one move there are hot and cold panels at the bottom I recommend doing both at the same time hot is really hot cold is really cold in the room. So we have our fridges. They're passed through on both sides. You are able to open both doors um, at the same time. So you need to be aware if you're opening the door from this side and someone has it open on the other side, the room will lose pressure. So just pay attention to how you're getting things. This is your line of demarcation, the door of the fridge. So everything that you take out of the fridge needs to be wiped down immediately before you set it down. When TG's here, this is gonna be the Mary Bridge fridge, and this is going to be the TG fridge. So you'll have a whole one dedicated to your fridge supplies. Right over here are the pressure monitors before each room. So we can keep an eye on it, and it will alarm if it goes out of range for too long. Over here, we have our anti-room storage that will be nice and filled up. We are allowed to share our supplies in this room, but we won't be able to share our drugs. So there will be dedicated shelving space for TG drugs while you're here. Over here is the intercom system. So there's, you can press the button to talk or the knee pad to talk. It is not actually pushed to exit. It was a generic faceplate that they used. So you're, in order to call the pharmacist desk out at the front, you just hit the knee pad once and it'll start ringing. And then as soon as the pharmacist picks up the phone, you'll be able to start talking to them. Likewise, if the pharmacist calls you from inside, they will be able to pick up the phone and just start talking. You don't need to answer any calls. You can just start talking back to them. Um, all of the doors on the inside here have this waist to open. When one door is open, the other doors can't be open. So only one door can be opened at a time. Now, if there was an emergency, you can force push the doors open. They're just very heavy. So you won't be able to do that on a day-to-day -day basis, only for emergencies. Another thing about this room is that this room is ISO 7, which means it's the same um, ISO status as your IV rooms. Our current anti-room in TG space is ISO 8, meaning there's more particles allowed. So what does that mean for this room? That means as soon as you come in, you need to be gowning up. There's no hanging out in the IV room anymore. The pharmacist won't be checking meds in here unless they gown up all the way. 
So for the most part, we have our pass-through, and then we have a checking station outside of the IV room, um, but this won't be a place that you can hang out without getting ready to be gowned up anymore. storage room on the other side. The only supplies you'll have in here is your cleaning, syringes, uh, needles, tubing, what have you. Everything, all your drugs will get passed through this uh, pass-through. It is HEPA filtered and it is very big. Lots of room to pass stuff through. There will be an SOP for you to read about how to clean and pass things through this item. Unlike the fridge, you cannot open both sides at the same time. So if one side is open, the other side will not. Same with our doors. The intercom for this room is right over here. So you have your button, but once you press the button, you can step away from the monitor. You don't have to be in the camera. You can just use your voice to project and talk to whoever is speaking to you through it. If you need to, in all the rooms, there's a volume button. So if you can't hear very well who's talking to you, you can turn it up. Any questions about this room? Uh, are there gonna be sharks containers inside of the hoods? Oh, yes. Yes, you have my little sharks containers for the hoods. Good question. Curious to talk about. doors open. We can't open this one yet. Okay. So I know we've talked about it, but there is not a lot of space in this IV room. So that means it's really going to be a change of pace and a change of mindset to be aware of your surroundings. So there's no cart here yet, but this is where a med cart will be, where we can put medications. Currently getting ordered. A very important portion part about this IV room is the location of the air returns. So these air returns cannot be blocked. We have limited real estate in here, so even if a shelf is in front of one of those, we cannot put bins in front of the shelf. So you want, it needs to be free and clear for air to be able to be returned and not recirculating through the room. Right behind you, this is the intercom for this room. Over here will be fluids and syringes supply. Um, there are additional parts to use but there is limited space everywhere. So this, you're gonna have to be strategic about where you place things. You might not have a cart right next to you all the time. Um, there's plenty of storage under each of the bins, so we'll maximize the amount of space. Yeah. The hoods are ergonomic, so you press and hold the button to go up and down. Same 
as in the chemo room. So ideally your stats are gonna go through here that we need to get to the pharmacist, but the your rest of your batch will go to the ante room to get checked or else this is gonna get congested really quickly. Um, one of the six foot hoods will be for TG and the eight foot hood will be for TG. Um, and then one hood will be for Mary Bridge. So considering how little space there is in here, uh, there will be times where Mary Bridge might need to make a compound or has extra stuff to do. So we're gonna work together to share the hoods during those times and we'll help coordinate that to make sure everyone gets done what they need to get done. The other thing is your walking pace. So you're not gonna be able to rush through the rooms really quickly because what you don't see is the way the air is rushing off of you and it's gonna go into the hoods, that air velocity. So as you're walking, your air is gonna flow off of you into the hoods if you aren't careful. Not to mention you're gonna bump into people because there just isn't that much room. We're also gonna have to be quiet. With three people or more working in here all the time, we're gonna need to have talking be to a zero. If it's related to work, if you're talking about what you're compounding or what you're doing next, that's okay. But conversations about Halloween or what you did that weekend, we're gonna ask that you bring that to the ante room and not in the workspace. pharmacists will be able to see staff while they're working? Yes, the pharmacists will be monitoring you at all times. So they will be able to see what you're doing. 